everybody, Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Action from the Sun Belt is just around the corner. Players on the field as you're getting a peek at the final moments before kickoff. That's going to do it for us. Thanks for checking out the pregame show. NCAA college football action coming right at you. Brandon Kirk on the call. David and I are back at halftime. The kicker's got the ball set up, and we're ready to get this thing started. Nice kick, plenty of distance. He's to the 20. They'll bring him down at the 28-yard line. Seniors probably think it seems like yesterday they took the field for the first time. Today, they take the field for the last time. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. He's tackled around the 26-yard line. The kind of guy that's work ethic really pays off. Right now, he's playing some special football and leading the conference statistically. It's second and 11. Ball on their own 26. I love the blitz, but the quarterback did a really good job of seeing it and reading it, and then standing tall in the pocket to find his man for the first. Cap to his receiver. He's taken down at the 38. Sails it all. That close to being intercepted. That looked like the same play they just called. Yeah, it was. The defense was ready for it this time. In second and ten. Ball on the 38. And he throws it away. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. First down, and he's out of bounds. I like this wide receiver a lot. He knows where he needs to be on the field so the quarterback can get him the ball. He made a terrific play to keep this drive alive. Right around the 18 yard line. That'll be a seven yard pickup. The play action throws the defense just long enough for the quarterback to get the ball to the receiver. Nice play. The ball pops free. He picks it up. They got the turnover. Uh, this is what it's all about. Defense taking advantage of an opportunity. They're pouncing on the loose ball. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. Out of bounds at the 18. Tackle made out of bounds 
the 19 yard line. Team. Yeah, they just couldn't connect on the pass there. That was a very good stand by this defense. Young is back deep to return the punt. He makes it out to maybe the 49-yard line. The offense couldn't hang on to the ball last time around. Let's see what happens here. Anytime they give the ball away, it's a disappointment. So these guys want to show that they can hang on to it. Out of hand complete. He's hit hard. Gain of four yards. That makes it seven and six. Around the 38 yard line. Mills That's picks him up around game seven game yards with that catch. Nice that protection, a good pass, and even a better catch. She can ask for much more than that. to account for the linebacker. And he got through almost untouched. Third down, and they need to get it to the 28. Slings it, and down he goes. At the 34, Johnson picks him up two yards with that catch. This will make it a field goal game. Kicks away, and he splits the uprights. Let's throw it out to Reese now for a studio update. The youth will rank 18. After that base plant, they'll be lucky to be ranked at all next week. And for Utah State, today's win gives them eight on the season. Utah State gets the W 24-21. In other games, Oklahoma and Oklahoma State in Bedlam. Team take great joy in winning and almost as much pleasure in knocking down their rival. And for Walker, he ran for more than 100 yards. The Sooners take it by five. Well, that's an absolutely shocking upset. You can count on that one to turn the poles upside down when they're released. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. Closing speed on the ball. He's got the kind of jets you need to be a standout corner. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 40 yard line. Receivers. Around the 
34 yard line. The cavalry's coming, and he's going to be set. Oh, that is a big hit on the quarterback. That's one of those as an offensive lineman. The film study starts to come around. You're going to kind of sink in your chair and just hope they don't call you out because you're going to get embarrassed on Monday night. They'll call on the field goal unit. The kick is up. It's got the distance. And it's wide left. No good. Sometimes when you see a kick like that, the kicker is trying to compensate for a factor, maybe like the wind. And he thinks he can hook it back in. It didn't happen that time. They threw a pick the last time out. Should be interesting to see what they do this time. He's got a lot of time to forget about that last pick. He just got to stick to the game plan. They it up the middle for a nice run. another set of downs and more importantly opens up a whole host of play calling possibilities for the coaching staff. They'll bring him down for a on the board. The option can be really tough to defend. At that time it was well played by the defense. Second down and 14. Ball on the 30 yard line. He's at the 20. Makes it to the 17. by the defense. There's nothing like a defense being able to slip off of a block, get into the backfield of the offense, and then make a play in the backfield to be able to create some momentum possibly for this defense. After one, this game's still pretty close. Three, nothing. And we're ready for more football here in quarter number two. The quarterback in the gun, empty backfield, five wide receivers in the formation. To that quick and it's going the other way. It's a great job in coverage by this linebacker. He does a good job of reading the quarterback's eyes and is able to come up with the interception. It's first and ten. Ball on their own eight. Defense has to be very frustrated there. They did everything. They got to the quarterback. In fact, it looked like they had a chance to bring him down for the sack. But somehow, he was able to throw the ball away. He delivers. 
He's hit and taken down. What a throw for a big game. That is a great example of the quarterback seeing the whole field and finding the guy who had the best chance of making a catch. Unbelievable. He's at midfield. At the 30. To the 20. He's tackled right around the 16-yard line. Corbett makes the tackle at the 16-yard line. First down. They've been stopped short down here the last two trips. wanted to make a point today. This game was so tight, every play seemed to be of the utmost importance. And for Mays, he made it into the end zone once. Stanford finishes it off 30 to 28. All right, Reeves, back to our game. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He'll return it from the three. Across the line. He's tackled the 36 yard line. Right, everywhere we go when we travel all over the first field, people want to talk about offense. Oh, the spread, or the pistol, and hurry up tempo offense and points. It's nice to watch a team that prides itself on playing great defense. And when it's all said and done, the teams that advance and get to the important ball games and do well in the postseason are teams that have this kind of defense. Got some open field. He goes out of bounds at the 42 yard line. And they hit him in the backfield. You know, it looked to me like he should have made the pitch, but he kept it instead and wound up going backwards. Pitch third down, eight to go. One on the 38. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. Gets it. He's in space. And he's taken down. The 50 yard line. The defense has got some of their best pass defenders on the field. They set up in the dime. They count that five wide receiver set. The senior makes the catch. Around the 36 yard line. Yeah. 
Throws and it's incomplete. And he misses his wide receiver there. Yeah, you're right. This is an area that he's worked so hard to improve since day one. The accuracy of his throws. He's improved. But as you can see, he's upset here with himself. And they can make this a one-possession game with this kick right here. It's up. And it's wide right. No good. All it takes is a split second of something going wrong. A little snap, a bad hold, a slip, and you've got a miss to the right or the left. They punched it in for six on the last series. Can they do it again? You know, when this defense went over to the sideline, based on the way they've been playing so far, this defense has got to be delivered. Uh, he's got to get in their face. He's got to challenge them. He's got to get their emotions going. Because when you play defense, it's not just about X's and O's. It's about attitude and playing with a lot of confidence. From the 17 yard line, second down. He's in for the touchdown. That was a well-drawn-up play for the wideout. Yeah, they saw something upstairs. It led to a touchdown. You can thank the play calling there. Very impressive. He splits the uprights for the extra point. A seven-play, 71-yard drive, and they get it in for seven. Brad, how about the guys up front? The offensive line giving the quarterback plenty of time to be able to read the defense and make the right throw. He's to the 20, at the 30, the 50, inside the 30. He's finally tackled at the 25-yard line. I think I can count on one hand the last time I saw this good a defensive performance where you had a chance for a shutout. Are you kidding me in college football today? With the spread and the running quarterbacks and all the speed and space, these guys got a chance to put up a shutout. And they'll bring him down behind the line. You've got to admire the intensity that these linebackers bring to the table. As soon as he saw him was staying on the ground, he made a beeline for the ball carrier. From the 29-yard line, second down. Fires out to his line and they push him out right around the toy. That's a team. That'll make it 35. Flips it middle to the running back. And down he goes at the 11 yard line. I'm not sure if the pack was his first option, but he got in the ball and he was able to make something big happen. First and 10, ball on the 11. Defense has had two stops already down here. And he's 
tackled right around the eight-yard line. The offense calls a timeout. That was their second timeout. and an even better return for the score. He makes the PAT. Turner, ready to kick. There isn't a quarterback that's ever played. Doesn't start to look over his shoulder, wondering if, in fact, they might be thinking about pulling the trigger. So far, his offensive coordinator is believing in him, but he better get going here. Even though it hasn't been his day so far, he can still help this team. He just needs to be positive out there. It's going to be interesting now to see if this quarterback can put that last throw behind him. This quarterback needs to be a little bit more careful because this defense is excellent on capitalizing off of mistakes. Fires across the middle. And they make the stop around the 40 yard line. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. He heaves it deep. Great catch there before they can knock him out of bounds. Might go right back to it. He's got the skills to make things happen, and the defense might not be able to keep up at this moment. So after the big pass play, we've got a first down. They come out in a five-wide set. Singleton to the intended receiver for a play. That makes it second and ten. ten. in the red zone again where their three previous trips resulted in zero points each time. Makes it out to maybe the 13-yard line. Johnston comes away with about two yards and a little drop line. So the kicking team is on the field. They'll try for three. on the verge of getting out of hand before we even hit the hand. These next few drives are going to go a long way in determining what kind of game this will end up being. Gains his way to the 33-yard line. The offense calls a timeout. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Zips it to the tight end. Tackle made. At about the 43 yard line. The offense calls a timeout. And now they've only got one remaining. That makes it first and 10. 
So we'll probably get one last heave to the end zone here before halftime. He airs it out. They'll bring him down at the two-yard line. No surprises here as we come to the end of the first half. 24-3. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David, David Pollock here in the studio as always. So with a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. Not that we're rooting one way or the other for these games to come out. It's not something that we can always put our finger on. You know, we sometimes people come out flat. You talk to coaches, and coaches are like, we had them ready to play. Everything was just like we thought it was, and just like it was normal. We had a great week of practice. How many times do you hear that? But sometimes it doesn't translate. So it's good to see a team that's mature enough, that comes out, takes care of business, leaves no doubt, wipes away the opponent's hope in the first half, come out the second half, get some PT for the younger guys, the backups. You sit on them for the game, you chill out a little bit, you can even take a peek at the cheese. I know. Just about set to start the second half. What are you looking for? I'm looking to see which team has that decided schematical advantage. And if they can find it, they'll go hold three or four axe handles wide. Brandon Kirk will be there and call the second half. All right, Reese Davis, these guys just about set to start the third quarter. He just drills this one. He's to the 20. Oh, man. He took him down hard. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Five wide. And he almost has the INT. That was a great throw by the quarterback. But to be fair, that was pretty good coverage. Second and ten. Ball on the 30. In the shotgun and five wide outs. And he's tackled right away. The sub package in there defensively. And this five wide receiver set. Throws it away. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. Young fields it at the 24. They'll bring him down at the 37. They're two for two in finding the end zone in their last two drives. Let's see how they do here. He wants it all. He's tackled right around the 24-yard line. What a throw. Well, here you get to see how accurate the quarterback is. He places the deep ball in there perfectly. Just a great throw. From the 15-yard line, it's second down. He fights.
Bills fans to about the 13. into a hole on first and second down. So the defense didn't really have to put too much thought in how to defend on that third down. The kick is up, and the field goal is good. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Excellent kick. He's to the 20. Gets out to about the 21. Not a lot of success for this offense on their last trip out. Down two possessions. This offense has to step up and capitalize on this possession. Quick pass. And he is drilled at the 31. That'll make it second in inches. job at getting in that passing lane and coming away with the ball. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 37-yard line. Quick throw out to the receiver. Tackles at the 29-yard line. Woods on the tackle at the 29-yard line. That brings up second and one. He's got space to work. He's brought down in the open field. Makes the tackle at the 20-yard line. That makes it first and ten from the 20-yard line. It's first down. He laterals the ball. Runs it right. Nice pickup. Johnson picks up five with the carry. That brings up second and five. From their own 25-yard line. It's second down. Throws it in a hurry. And down he goes at the 34-yard line. 
Nice pickup as they connect on the pass play. Well, they look to be in sync right now. They're both reading the defense properly, and the result is a nice game. He gets out to about the 35 yard line. Zips it to the back. And he's tackled at the 46-yard line. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own 46. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Caught with room to run, and they make the stop at the 46. What presses me so much is the guy's vision. He read the coverage perfectly to find his man for good yardage. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. Right completes, and he's hit immediately. They come out on an empty backfield. He's taken down at the 35. That makes it seven and six. Tackles him hard at the 28-yard line. He'll spread the field with five wide. Slings it left. The defender had it and that dropped it. So the field goal unit is on the field. They'll try for three points. He gets it up. He clanks it off the upright. No good. So now both teams come trotting back out onto the field. And we reach the end of three, and this game is all but decided. 33. Not sure there's any hope 
for a comeback here in the fourth quarter, but Cook and I pray. Tackle made to the 31 yard line. Game of 12 yards. First down. From their own 31 yard line. First down. He's to the 40. He gets out to about the 44 yard line. That's good for a of 13 yards. That makes it first and 10. He fires left side. They'll bring him down at 23. That's a good game. First down. First down. Second and 15. Now it's first and 10 with a defense trying to regroup after giving up the big pass. Good open field tackle. He didn't have much of a chance on that point. Boy, this defense has a lot of speed. They're all over him by the time he caught the ball. two-yard line. On, it's third down. Strike to his receiver. No good. This is to add to an already impressive lead. Kicks it, and it is good. Looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He's to the 20. Tackle made at the 27. You know, we love being around this defensive coordinator. He had a plan, and boy, he executed today. Yeah, he shared that plan with us, and we wonder sometimes if the plan's going to be able to play out the way it has today. But everything is clicking, from the coaching to the plan and the execution. Just a dominant game. Their kicker missed the field goal attempt the last time this offense had it. Let's see what happens this time around. Anytime you have a shot at putting points on the board and you don't get it, you get a little frustrated. But this offense is very capable of scoring many times. He's tackled at the 33-yard line. So they go to the air and pick up six. He executed the screenplay well here by getting the ball to the halfback. They pick up some yards. Six yard line. is about three feet away from that first down marker. And he's stopped behind the line.
Both teams are playing out the stretch here. You want to get experience for guys you normally don't get in the game and try to avoid injuries. He makes his way to about the 42. Second it's second down, and they're about the length of the football from the first down marker. Runs right for a nice game. That makes it first and ten. Five wide. Looks for the receiver, touchdown. Excellent play here by the quarterback, making the proper reads and finding his playmaker for the score. And he adds the extra point with a three-play, 52-yard drive. And they add seven points to the scoreboard. Turner has his kick team lined up, and he is set to kick this one off. He just drills this one. He's to the 20, and down he goes at the 22-yard line. I don't expect any once-in-a-lifetime rallies here, but that being said, we could still see some exciting plays. Five-yard line. That'll make it second and seven. Johnston picks up about four yards on the misdirection handoff. That makes it third and three. Less than three minutes in the game. Setting up blockers, the running backs got it on the screen, and they'll bring him down behind the line. That makes it fourth and four. And watch out, they're going to bring the heat right here. He really got a hold of that one. Tries to get around the corner. They'll bring him down at the 43. Freeman's day has been a memorable one. I don't think it's any surprise. Looks like they're going to roll to a win, Kirk. Now, he's demonstrated that he is far and away the best player on the field. And his team's happy to have him, obviously. We expected a great game from him, and that's exactly what we saw. And he's taken down right around the 46-yard line. Second down and seven. Ball on the 46-yard line. Up the middle for a nice game. That'll bring up third and inches. to the back. Gets to about the 47 yard line. First down. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 47 yard line. They try to get this time they've got him in the backfield. You keep gaining negative yards and you put yourself in a position having to make bigger and bigger plays. Puts a lot of pressure on that quarterback. Thank you. 